Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'm doing the musician spotlight on Jason Morales. And um, in the last video, we did I'm Yours, and I managed to finish that course up to my level. Now we're going to do the next song called I Will Give Up. So learn Jason's hit ballad. to your eyes it's like watching the night sky or a beautiful sunrise there's so much they hold and just like them old stars yeah I see that away so easily i'm here to stay and make the difference that i can make our differences they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools and gifts we got yeah we got a lot at stake and in the end you're still my friend at least we did intend for us to work we didn't break we didn't burn we had to learn how to bend without the world caving in. I had to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am. I won't give up. Still look 
looking up I look into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Just like them old stars, I see that you come so far to be right where you
all those master the song. There's two sections I need to work on. So I'm gonna work on those sections. Verse one and bridge. I look into your eyes. It's like watching night sky or a beautiful sunrise. But there's so much here. Just like them old stars, I see that you come so far to be right where you Alright, now I'll go to the next part that needs work on. So I Won't Give Up is a fairly easy song to play. It's in 6-8 time, and I recommend finding the chords that you're most comfortable with that will still allow you to sing with emotion, because I feel like the song is, is very, very emotive. Um, so it can be played in a number of positions. Obviously, you can just play it without a capo, with the E shape, to E. With the turnaround being the, turnaround B. Being the B. So if you're comfortable with so power chords, this, okay this is an okay place to play the song. To play the song. It gets a little tricky, a little when, you tricky when you have to use that C sharp. That C sharp. Like I said, if you're comfortable, like said, with, power if you're comfortable chords, with power chords, you can play it in this position. You play it in this position. And if you're just starting out if on the guitar, out and on you're the guitar, getting comfortable and with you're your cowboy chords. With your cowboy chords. Um, um, this is a great place, is a great to, place to play. To I won't give play. up. I won't give up because right? you won't right? have, to, won't know have to know any bar chords or power chords, chords or power chords except for except the B flat shape, the B flat shape. Mm -hmm. which will happen in the which bridge. Which will happen in the bridge. Otherwise, the Otherwise, whole song, the whole song is, will exist will in exist a fairly in familiar chords. C shape. C shape. Da 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 da. Just going C to F. Just going C to F. Sneak in you some melody there, by, some using melody there by using a hammer on.
In the bridge, we'll use, the, the, D bridge, we'll use the D minor shape. I don't wanna I be don't someone who walks away so easily. So I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can. Repeat that. Repeat that. Our differences they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools and gifts we got. Yeah, we got a lot of stay. Now here's for that bar chord. And in the end, you still a friend. At least we did intend for us to work. We didn't break. We didn't burn. We had to learn how to bend. Without the word, caving in. I had to learn what I got and what I'm not. Quarterly, the song's quite Quarterly, simple. The song's quite simple. You know, if you're following the, you know, chord, you're following chart, the chord chart, it's easy to play it's along, with, to play along because with because the chords because never, the chords never change, change too quickly. You have plenty of time to settle, time into, the to settle into the chord and think about, and think about the, position the, the position of the next chord. Uh, an, uh, interesting an interesting twist for, twist singers, for singers is that in the, is bridge, that in the bridge, I use the word I differences, the word differences in, two different ways. in two different ways. I say, I say our, differences, our differences, and I also say differences. And I, say differences. And I did that. And I, did I took that, those I took liberties to, um, to um, give me the, the me syllables the, the that syllables I needed for the cadence. For the cadence. But I noticed that it but does I trick that it some, does singers trick some singers when you see the lyrics. When you see the lyrics. Uh, uh, so, so I don't want to be someone who walks away so easily. I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make. Difference. That was a three-syllable version. Uh, differences, they do a lot. Differences. But I've heard some singers say, our differences, they do a lot. And it's and it, and it gets stuck on the lyric there. I originally wrote this song wrote in, this song what's, called in what's called drop D, and that's a tuning, and that's where, a you tuning where you take the low E string, e string and tune it down to D. Tune it down to D. And a great way to do this a without, a tuner, do this is without a tuner is to choose the fourth string, which is D. String, which is D. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Just tune to it. Just tune to it. And the beauty of drop D of is drop it allows you to play, allows you to play a, D chord a D chord on all six on strings. All six strings. Get, that nice get that nice low resonance. Low get, that resonance. Nice get that nice, nice bass note in there. Note in there. I highly recommend, I highly alternate, recommend tunings, alternate tunings uh, because, uh, because you will find you yourself, will find yourself um, uh, inventing voices inventing that may surprise, that you. May surprise you. Some artists have, Some artists have dozens, dozens of alternate tunings, of alternate tunings to help create to their help songs create and perform their songs. songs. And when I play that drop D, which, that is drop e chord, D which is an E chord, you still get that effect of that, that low effect string that low resonating over top of the chord. It will force it you will to reimagine re how, re how the G and the A and, and, the all, the and all the other chords that require the top string to be involved. It will it ask will you ask to move that to top move string that top position string up, position up, by, up two whole by two whole frets. frets. So what's traditionally so what's the G traditionally cowboy, the G chord, cowboy chord, chord now looks, looks, like this looks like this because you have to because move. You have to move up to frets. frets. But I love it. But I think I it creates it. I think a really creates beautiful voice. Really Even if the sky's gay, gay, rough, I'm giving you my, my love. I'm still looking up. I think you have fun with alternate tunings. Hi, James from Hi, Musician James here. Musician Let's have a look at I Won't Give, give Up by Jason Mraz. In this version, we'll be, playing, this some version we'll be playing some cowboy chords. chords. So as long as you know so some, basic, you know chord some chords, basic chord shapes, you should be able to pick this, one up, okay. this one up okay. All right, let's jump straight right, into practice, jump straight practice into so practice we can slow it down so and simplify it. 
and it's saying we can use a capo here on fret 4. Capo is one of these devices that clamps across all the strings and makes the whole guitar sound higher. Now if you do have a capo, that's great, put it here on fret 4. If you don't have one, that's completely fine. You'll be able to get your musician to adjust the song so that it will play back lower, and you'll be able to use the same chord shapes we're talking about in our normal playing position down here without the capo. Okay, so I'll jump okay, in and so play I'll with the capo, play with now. the capo now. And to start with, to start let's, with slow the song let's slow down. the song down and focus on the chord shapes themselves. You'll notice that chord diagrams appear above the tab here. So if there are any chords that you don't know, you can always look at those diagrams to figure out exactly where to click the fingers. So for example, for this F chord here, you can see this note here is on the A string, that's the fifth string, fret number three, number two of three, and it's blue, which means that you use your ring finger. You can always refer to the hand down here to see which finger color refers to which finger. Finger. So, for example, that so note there will be played here, and you'll be able to be able follow to the rest of the diagram to see where to put the rest of, the rest of your fingers. Okay, now I'll start okay, now by I'll just start strumming by the just first strum on each chord. On each that way we can really way focus can on the chord shapes themselves. Okay, so here's okay, an so F coming up. F coming up. And then C. And then C. Okay, okay. Need a bit more time on, C. Time on C. And then F is up and next. F is up next. And, and F. F. And again, and again C. C. So that's the same pattern so repeating. F, F, C. F, C. Now we got F now again. We got Here F we go. Again. Here we go. F. F. C. C. And then up next, then it, changes, up next, to it changes to a G chord. Okay, now as you play okay, through, you you'll see that that pattern that repeats, that for, a lot repeats of the song. for a lot of the song. F and F C, and, C and, and then after a couple of repeats of that, heading to a G chord. To a G chord. Later on, an Later on, A minor an chord a gets thrown in as well, you can see here in the chorus. So again, if you don't so know again, that one, you, know you that can, one, look, at you can look at the chord diagram and see how those chords work. Now let's see if we can add a little bit more strumming in there. Okay, we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Okay, you can see okay, there we've got this there, repeating got this idea. Repeating idea. Down, down, up, down, up, down, which then repeats. Which then repeats. Here we go. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. down. Up, down, up, then down, there's an extra down at the end there. And again, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Okay, so once you get used to that strumming pattern in those chords, down, up, down, then you'll be able to start putting that together and speeding up a little bit. Now you might notice with the change from F to C, you actually share a few things between those chords. So if you look at the so ring the finger, finger, the third finger, and the index finger, you'll see that they stay on between those chords. You don't need to take them off because they're exactly the same in both chord shapes. So here's F, and then C. Notice that all I did was take my pinky off and move my middle finger, and then I get to C. Back to F again. All I need to do is put my pinky down, move my middle finger. The ring finger and the index finger stay exactly where they are. And if you look for those shared for those notes shared between chords, notes between and keep chords, your fingers on there, fingers on then there, it makes the change much easier, change and much faster. easier and faster. Okay, as you get more okay, confident, you get more you'll be confident, able to speed that up a little bit. That up a little bit. See how that sounds. See how that sounds. Down, down, up, down, 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 extra down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 down. Notice down. those shared those fingers those staying fingers on between chords. Here we go. Down, 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 the G. Okay, 
Okay, and when you're ready to play it up to full speed, you can jump into perform mode and earn some stars. All right, good luck. Have fun. Have fun. Now, of course, the neighbor's dog is barking her head off. All right, learn the chords. There's 21 chords. Okay, I'm going to play without the capo. Alright, let's try again. Okay, go and play that again.
going to play it again. Okay, time is up. 